one Lucas Oil Rates recap. It's the big move by Lawrence around Cooper. Yeah, he gets uh, right there. Lawrence pulls the tear off. He's got a clear track. He thinks, thinks at this point, okay, great, I'm racing Cooper. And then wait a second. Here comes another blue bike. He goes flying past. Martin goes flying past his teammate, Justin Cooper, and sets his sights on your leader, Jet Lawrence. I mean, Martin was on the gas. It, it looked like multiple times, Jason, that he was going to be able to make the pass right here. Oh, yeah, we thought it was coming here. The outside of this corner, just a little bit too far wide. He definitely carried enough speed. But then things change. Unbelievable. So Jet holds him up, and then this big crash ends it for Martin completely. And when he goes down, unfortunately, he banged up that left wrist that he's been dealing with an issue there that's going to have to be repaired. And uh, that's it. That's it for the day for Jeremy Martin. <sighs> so much for the spoilers. He gave it everything he had. He almost had some interference there in the title chase. If he had gotten around Lawrence, it's a big if. Jet hold him off. Here the Lucas Oil race recap. This is a great battle early in the race. Savachi in the lead. Roxon comes out of nowhere to get everybody slicing through the field to take the lead from Ferrandis. Yeah, yeah Roxon goes from like comeback. seventh to first in a lap. And then uh, the race starts to take shape. And watch right here as Ferrandis is fully committed coming into the turn. Breaking bumps, boom. And Roxon has to slow down, get out of the way. Tomac was right in there too. And here's Tomac sliding to the inside of Roxon to get to the number two spot. Roxon had actually repassed Verandas earlier in that very same corner. And then we strapped in for a battle between two of the brutes out here, Tomac and Verandas. Yeah, and they stayed pretty much the same pace till about probably seven to five minutes left in the race is when, uh, is when Roxon dropped off the back a little bit. And then with a couple laps to go, Tomac drops off just a little bit. And Ferrandis takes the win after saying that he suffered. <laughs> I know, didn't have the power to push. Yeah. Still won by five seconds, <laughs> but uh, hey, I'll take it because it definitely Loda on the Monster Energy Pro Circuit. Kawasaki grabs a whole shot, almost wow. goes down. I didn't catch that earlier. Unbelievable. Then Shimoda loses the lead to Lawrence. It was a nice tussle between these two who are good friends off the track, but they wanted this lead badly here. And then as Lawrence started to pull away, we had a pretty good battle uh, through the rest of the pack. This is Hampshire. He gets to the inside of Justin Cooper. That's going to drop Cooper from third back to fourth, and Hampshire sets his sights on Shimoda. And this battle went all the way down to the wire. This is the pass. Hampshire taking second from Shimoda, but Shimoda stayed about this close all the way down to the final lap. But they could not catch Jet Lawrence. First 1-1 one -one day of his career, the 18-year-old out of Australia. Something about this racetrack, or maybe even this time of season, perhaps he's stepping up. As early on, it was Webb and Ferrandis battling for the lead, though. Yeah, Webb really sh shows some great aggression right here and takes the lead. Red Bull KTM has to be stoked to finally see the number two out front. It's been a while. Then Tomac starts to strike first against Ferrandis. He'll make the same move in the same turn Webb did. And we really did have about a five-rider battle with Webb, Tomac, Ferrandis, Sexton, Roxon. Boil down to these two, Webb against Tomac. And Tomac's going to go from the outside to the inside here and finally get the lead. And then once he had a clear track, he was gone. But we had a great battle here. And watch right here as Ferrandez just ever so slightly taps Webb there and takes the, takes the spot, actually throws a hand out, says, hey, look, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to hit you. But uh, for Tomac, it was clear sailing. Yeah, he hit him a different way. With lap times, they couldn't match. Eli Tomac was second in Moto 1. He wins Moto 2. You can't beat those scores. A 2-1 takes the overall today. Just like Hashi was saying on the podium, it is just a relief to coming close to wins throughout this summer. Here's your guaranteed rate results in this second.